welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Bradenton Motorsports Park for Street Car Takeover. This event has been absolutely insane. It's actually supposed to be a two day event. I was here yesterday, put back my wheels together. I just got them powder coated and they came out really good. They look super good. We're supposed to get one qualifying run last night, but unfortunately the winds were so bad that they delayed drag racing and then it started raining. So mother nature really had it in for us yesterday. Wasn't able to get any passes in. So today, I'm all suited up, pretty much ready, waiting for them to call our class. Seems like a very small front wheel drive class, but hey, I'm here for the seat time and to have fun at the end of the day. So I'm super pumped, super excited. It's literally been two months since I've been back behind the wheel. Last time I was driving was at Orlando Speed Road for the Sport Compact Challenge, and that event was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that everything goes smooth today. I just want to have fun and be safe at the end of the day. If we can take home a new PV, that would be amazing. <laughs> we got Adriana here who's going to be racing as well. Are you excited? How do you feel? Girl, how I'm feeling right now is I need to make a hit or somebody's going to get I know. a hit. I was explaining to them how terrible yesterday was. We pretty much just hung out. So Adriana, this is her first event with the car. I actually came to her test session about two weeks ago and she did absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really... January 31st. A month ago. Jesus, time's flying. She's actually the new driver for uh, Rob Rainin's car, also known as Gringo Tune, FIC car. She's doing really good so far, so I'm really pumped. I'm losing my, my girl and, you know, getting all the good footage, but it's awesome to be out here. Different feeling racing with your friends. Eventually, we probably will be racing against each other, but we've already talked to me and her, you know. We're, we're all for helping each other out and rooting for one another. We're getting ready for our first I don't even want to say qualifying. First, let's just take a first qualifying. Our first, yeah, our first pass down the track. Yes. Pretty much a shake off pass. It's been a month for you, but it's been damn near three, I would say, for me almost. It's it's this first week of December. December. Yeah, so. so it's got a little. Uh, she's overthinking it because she's doing Got a little she's dust on my boots. You know, I gotta just dust them off real quick. As long as we both remember how to do a burnout and launch. That's yes. really good. Then the rest is easy. So. Right, right. Um, winds died down, so that's good. It was terrible yesterday. Like, it was, I mean, it was nice, but not nice for racing. Honestly, we were even talking, if they were to let us race, we were going to do eighth mile hits because it's so bad that we didn't want to do a full send because when the wind is that bad and you pull the parachute, it's basically a recipe for disaster. The car can just go all over the place. Even without the wind, like just slowing. Slowing these cars down so sketchy anyway. Yeah. And then you add headwind on a little, on mine at 96, yours are a little bit newer, but still there's yes. tin can. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Technically, she's right. <laughs> Majority of the weight is all in the front of these yeah. cars, so it's already sketchy without wind. Yeah. I would say, essentially, to shut these cars down towards the end of the track. So, with the wind, it's like even <laughs> with the wind, it's like even times three. So, yeah. But it's looking pretty promising today. Weather's good. I feel good. So. That's when I got the most hits out of it. We'll see how today goes. Really just about having fun, being safe. Like I said, just learning learning new things and becoming a better consistent driver. I do have Texas 2K coming up next month. Now that is a big event that I'm preparing for, coming with a backup engine and everything. If we're gonna go that far, we're gonna make sure that we're ready and have it all. So, have to stay tuned for that one. But um, let's see how the first round of qualifying goes. <laughs> Qualifying round. 
shaking off the dust. I feel like the first pass is always like the most nerve wracking and once you're in it, it's like, all right, muscle memory back in this kind of thing. So the track is a lot different. It is not the same than what we're used to. The prep is just not the same. So my tuner is gonna have to remove a lot of boost. We definitely spun the tire a lot in first, but I did my job getting you know down the track in all four gears. I am still letting off a little bit early. I definitely feel like when you're racing someone, I have that instinct where I know, okay, I'm not letting off early, obviously. I'm trying to win this race. But I don't know what it is. Every time I'm by myself in that lane, I keep letting off early. And I think my biggest fear is just because of my accident, you know, a year ago. Right now, I would definitely say that is my biggest weakness, letting off early. So um, hopefully we can go into the next round of qualifying and improve. Hopefully Randy's changes that he made. So yeah, we'll see how the next round goes. on the tree I feel like I'm getting better there and then I don't know why I went back to letting off early again so it's definitely a constant battle but I'm trying at least I know where I need to improve and I'm working on it um, but I'm happy because this track has not been the best we've had issues because they're not the prep is a little different I should say they're not prepping as hard as they would normally do for our events so we were like we're not gonna hit a new PP here there's just no way you know so my tuner made some adjustments he had to take a lot of boost out to make this work because we're spinning a lot because again the track prep isn't the same but um i'm just happy that we lowered that number down here's the slip right here let's see what we got thank you all right what we got what we got we got 814 at 170 miles per hour letting off again so if i wouldn't have let off guys this would have been a low eight pass for sure 100 percent reaction time is getting a little bit better 60 foot still not there all the way, 156. A good 60 foot for us would be like 14. We're making it work with what we have. I'm just happy to have the seat time. And I'm starting to feel like just way more comfortable with the car. Things are slowing down and I can like focus now like on little things where before I couldn't even tell you what I did. So I'm super pumped. So there's a pair of ones, and then there's a five chip in here. So, and then the black chip is lane choice. So, oh yeah, I thought there was five of us. Ladies first. Oh man, come on. You're fried. That's it, unfortunately. Your girl red lit. For the very first time, I've red lit a car and I'm always sleeping at the light and I was telling myself I'm gonna practice, I'm gonna get better. And I got a little too happy and I red lit the car. So I lost this round, unfortunately. I did not win the first round of eliminations, which really sucks. But regardless, win or not, I drink, I'm pretty sure I just blew a head gasket. Car was breaking up really bad in fourth gear. So I'm gonna have to take it back to the pits and evaluate, but I'm pretty sure head gasket's gone. So even if I would've won that round, I wasn't going to make it to the next, so it is what it is. I'm just happy to be out here. I'm learning. I'm trying to get better as a driver, and um, this is what it comes with. You know, you're going to have wins. You're going to have losses. It's all about learning from them and how you can progress and become better. So I'm definitely going to be looking at this footage because 
oh, I'm mad that I red lit. I'm so mad. I never thought I would red lit. Like I'm always sleeping at the light. Not purposely, but it's just because I've been getting so used to like staging and doing everything. But like I said, got too happy. So it is what it is. Could have taken a one, but hey, it was a good race for sure. On to the next race, guys. Texas 2K, I'm coming for you. Thank you.